Hi everyone, Ed Zarek Solomon. I'm going to bring you the win early pick five preview from Monmouth Park for this Saturday, Ju July 10th. Put together a $48 ticket. Uh, I like this ticket a lot today. I think there's some vulnerable favorites that we can try and beat in this sequence that should make for a nice payoff today. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go heavy in the beginning of this and kind of pare down as we work through the ticket. Uh, race one, I'm going to go four deep here. And the one I'm not using is the two to one morning line favorite along the way. Uh, sort of said a 12 time maiden just uh, just doesn't really seem like is intent upon winning i think we can beat this horse we're using uh again one of four here to, taking a swing top pick is going to be the seven practically dizzy this horse has had four starts two of them on dirt two of them on turf and the dirt starts are definitely better um i am a little concerned about not getting enough pace to set up a close but but i i, I think this horse is improving and, and a good player here the one Tis Lottie, another one that we're going to use. This horse, a decent debut in Maiden Specialty Company, kind of maintained that position the whole way around. Drops, don't love the drop to Maiden Claiming here. This was a $70,000 purchase and dropping into Maiden Claiming for the, the 25 tag uh, after one start. However, I thought it was a good enough race and certainly fit a race that, that fits pretty well at this level. Uh, two longer shots uh, that I'm going to put on the ticket. Number four, Wicked Grove at 6-1. to one. This is a horse that if you're going to use Practically Dizzy, you pretty much have to use this one. They were pretty much within a neck apart each other. Um, second off the layoff, I think this one certainly could improve there. And then also going to go with the six, Horseshoe Falls. Uh, this is a little kind of rolling the dice with this one. Two starts, um, met a very tough field uh, at Woodbine on Synthetic on the debut. Resurfaced here on grass in the Maiden Claiming Company. Definitely improved position. It was an improved race. Now runs on dirt for the first time. You look at the pedigree. Pedigree suggests dirt shouldn't be an issue there uh, with Wayne Potts Barn. So a horse that certainly could pop at a price there and add some value. Again, going to go too four deep again in the second race. I'm going to use Alta Velocita the six, but uh, trying to beat that one. This was the morning line favorite that I'm trying to beat. Ran a huge race, 20 buyer points above where you saw this one before. Um, so that certainly is a recipe for a bounce. However, Andrew Simoff has this one in great form right now, so don't want to completely play against. Top pick is Dantastic, the four. Not great record at Monmouth Park, but certainly capable of big efforts. Uh, might just wind up getting the run of the race, and the horses that ran with this style certainly fared well last night. Also going to use the one no bold jack. Uh, off the board, never finish off the board and face New Jersey Breads uh, six times here at Monmouth Park. Uh, two wins, two seconds, two shows. Uh, cleared the non-winners of one condition last time out. And then also a little uh, value horse, uh, Roselba. Going turf to dirt, it's a good angle for Rory Houston. Uh, this one's been four straight starts with, with tougher, so getting some class relief here. So might have some value there at 6-1. to one. Race 3 is where we're going to use our single, and I'm going to use Vettori Kin. This one was claimed three back for $25,000 and has ran two strong efforts at Naira. Um, both both was significantly better. Now takes a big drop back into this level and just, just looks to kind of, from, from a class and, and speed figure, just looks better than this group. Should get a good trip, just kind of tucked away behind the speed, kind of in that uh, second group. Um, I, I think she's going to be hard to beat here. Race four. 10,000 maiden claimers going to go three deep in here and, and again going to be against the morning line favorite uh, this one gone dreaming in here I, I just I, I don't believe this horse wants any part of two turn racing and so, so, so I'm going to play against that one going to use the seven crystal orb as the top pick definitely this one is bred to go two turns uh, solid last time out was similar so she certainly should get the distance also going to add Brooklyn Tail, the three. Respectable in the debut, uh, not super fast race, and you know, Streetcar Jones was, was just kind of falling apart in the stretches. This one kind of resurged, but but probably definitely got a, got a good education out of that race. Now going to two turns here. Um, both the Sire and the Dam Sire, this one loved racing here at Monmouth Park. Uh, and then also going to use the five Thawed. Four career starts, only one of them on dirt, and that came in the slop, and this horse just looked like it had no desire to getting a, the mud kicked in his face. I'll play this one back here at this level and yeah, hope hope get a big number there. And that gets us to the race five on the turf, uh, turf sprint. Big favorite here is exact for Todd Pletcher, three to two. It looks very hard to beat. Has two open length wins on the turf at Gulfstream Park, never off the board on the turf. Away since April, should be fresh and ready to fire with Paco Lopez riding for Todd Pletcher. Uh, the other horse I'm gonna put in there, a little bit of a price, uh, Towering Gaze. 
Uh, so this one moves to the Louis Carvajal barn, and it's a barn that's certainly doing very well at this meet, 20% winners. So uh, this one drops in class, could be coming late. Look, looks, there's a lot of speed in this race. The, the source, source that has the ability to pass horses and come from off the pace. So the, that's the other one I'll put in there as, as maybe a chance to beat that heavy favorite. And uh, again, if we can connect on some of these, should be a nice payout this Saturday. Uh, so weather's gorgeous. We're going to assume that they're going to be on the turf. But everything, it was a beautiful day on Friday once uh, Elsa's rains came away. So I, I think they're going to be good to go on the turf for a beautiful Saturday. One week away from the Haskell. So good, good luck to everybody playing at Monmouth Park today.